This might not look like a home appliance factory, but I assure you it is. It's first built, and it's a partnership between GE Appliances and the University of Louisville in Kentucky. It's a micro factory and a maker space. It's a place where 3D printers and Arduinos are a lot more common than assembly lines and 400 ton presses. And if the first products that we saw that were rapidly prototyped and brought to market are any indication, it could be the future of home appliances. Sometimes all it takes is a small improvement to an existing innovation. This is a double oven range, but with a traditional double oven range, if you opened up this top door, you'd have to reach in to take something out, and it doesn't give you very much space. So what someone thought at First Build was put it on sliders, have it be a pull-out drawer. With a place like First Build, you can rapidly prototype this, you can create it, and within a couple of months, bring it to market, see if people like it. This is a garbage disposal, but so is this. And you'll notice the big difference between them is that this is, this is a lot shorter and stouter. And what that means is this garbage disposal gives you more clearance for stuff to store underneath your sink. And the design also makes it a lot harder to get your hands caught in it because the important stuff, the stuff that pinches and grinds and chops is over here to the side. Uh, it's an interesting design. Uh, it could be a better design. And it's something that came out of first book. How it works is it installs in an existing fridge. Inside the fridge, you put in the water dispenser and it'll start to automatically refill. There are magnets inside of it which determine whether or not the pitcher is there to keep it from flooding the inside of your fridge. And there's a very simple float device on the top of this pitcher which uh, lets the fridge know when it's full. The pitcher comes from Target. You can purchase the self-refilling kit, or even better, you can download the file for it, and if you have a MakerBot at home, you can actually print it off with a 3D printer, which is pretty cool.